These ratchet tie downs can be a real pain if you don't know how to use them. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to master the art of the ratchet tie down. Now, before we begin tying anything down, I do wanna point out that it's a good idea to check your owner's manual for any specific steps for your machine on how to get that tied down. It's gonna show you the specific tie down spots. Now, one other thing, these steps we're gonna show you, they'll apply to both flatbed trailers and enclosed trailers. The typical use for these ratchet straps is tying down a side-by-side -side or an ATV, and we recommend using one for each corner of the machine. And the first thing you need to do is route the strap. So we've got this spindle right here. I'm gonna start with that slot facing out. We're just gonna come up through this back side and then we'll run this length back down to our tie down point. And we're gonna make our connection on the machine. So these straps, these are the Rider Cargo ratchet straps. They have the soft tie built into them. It's kind of nice about them. And then I've already hooked my bottom point up to the trailer. We're gonna pull this tight. If you don't pull this tight, you can get a ton of material wrapped up around here and this ratchet mechanism can actually get jammed. You don't wanna do that. All you wanna do, once it's pulled tight, ratchet this down, and ideally, you wanna have at least one full wrap all the way around this spool, maybe even one and a half, and that's gonna hold everything securely. And that material, that's the only thing that's keeping this strap from coming loose. One more thing I wanna point out is you'll notice that our strap is not really twisted. If you have half a twist in there, fine, but if this thing has more than that, you definitely wanna get it straightened out before you tighten this down. Now, once you're ready to release it, all you need to do, there's a lever on the back. You're gonna pull this all the way so the lever is 180 degrees apart from itself. And all that does is rotate this cam up so it pushes out on this plate that holds these gears in place, and that way all the tension can be released. Now, if you've routed this any other way or have way too much material wound up in there, it might not be that easy to release. One other thing that can happen is these can kind of stick and sometimes if you pull up on them, it can help release the tension. Now, the last thing with these ratchet tie downs is I always like to wrap them up and that way they don't get all tangled when I'm not using them. And that's it, that's all you need to know to correctly use a ratchet tie down. If you need these, they're available on our website. And for more helpful content like this, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.